Welcome to your world of thrills and excitement. Today on 321 Live, we we'll sit and have a chat with a production designer by name Prince Kojo Hilton. Prince Kojo Hilton is a multi talented visual artist with over two decades of professional experience that has gained him both local and international recognition. With a major in art direction and production design, Prince Kojo Hilton is a multi talented visual artist full of passion and creativity for his skill set. Is a fine art professional with the dream of becoming prominent in the area of production design. Prince Kujo Hilton has worked on various music video sets such as Ochiami Kwame's Bra, Kwame Uji and Kiddies on Hima, Adam's Nyetjilo, Fuse ODG Timeless, and many many others. Prince Kujo Hilton has worked with a lot of music video directors such as Nana Esiyini, Rex, Geo of Famous Films. We visited the studios of Prince Kojo Hilton and he takes us through how he is able to come out with great ideas for a music video shoot. Mr. Mr. Hilton. Oh, I am Ike. Mr. Charlie, Hilton. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Nice to It's been how many years? Oh, like uh, three, four years. No, I think it's more than three, four years because I've known you since 2006 and you've not wow. changed. You are still with your beautiful cap and your... It is, it is the style of work. Charlie, sit, sit, sit. Let's wow. start. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's, it's you're it's, welcome to my, uh, my home office. Um, this is where I brainstorm and do my stuffs. <laughs> well, viewers, if you don't know who Prince Kojo Hilton is, I mean, this gentleman has done it all when it comes to um, film production, video productions right here in Ghana, and even beyond. Ike, um, Prince Kojo Hilton is, is a fine artist and a filmmaker. I started um, at a very tender age doing art, drawing and painting and all that. And then I, I found so much interest in that area. I, I, I knew that's what I can do and that's what God has blessed me with. So I just need to push ahead. So yeah, so I've been doing art all my life and then jumped into filming and then ended up at Nafti to study art direction and production design. So basically I work as an art director or a production designer. All right, okay. So when it comes to, when it comes to filming, yeah. most specifically to say music videos, because that's what we're actually trying to preach. Sure. Where exactly do you fall in the field of production when it comes to that area? Okay, so I still work as an art director. I, 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 my duty is to actually to um, put together the creatives or the um, aesthetics of, of the production. So um, I manage or I supervise the creative team, that's the mm -hmm. co costume designer, the makeup artist, the props designer, and the set designer. I get you, but when you say you manage them, you manage them in which way? Do you give them directions or how they, they do their staffs on okay. paper or how they, they create? Okay. I want to know exactly what you do with them. All right, so there's a, um, there are stages in production, uh, which um, um, we have the pre-production, we have the post-production. We have pre-production, production, and post-production. Of okay. course. So I come in from the pre-production stage where um, I'm being given a script. If it's a movie script, if it's a film, um, um, if it's a music video, we still work with script. So um, I go through the script and then pinpoint the visual elements in the storyline. In terms of um, props, let's say they want to use car. And um, we want to tell a story in 1977. So it is my duty as an art director to create a look and feel for the story. So 1977 cast, 1977 costume as to how the, sh the dressing should look, mm -hmm. 1977 makeup, okay, 1977 look and feel of a room. I think the, the, it wouldn't the props. look like this, the props. Mm -hmm. So the setup wouldn't look like this, wouldn't look like this. Modding. Modding. You, you just uh -huh. have to create that, exactly. that picture for yeah. people so to see. So I create as the art director, I create the visual look, all the elements, I put them together. So I create something I call Bible, or a breakdown sheet for each scene. I see. So with that, I bring on board my expertise that I feel they can do or deliver. So. If it is makeup, I bring on board the makeup artist and shows the makeup. Okay, this is how I want the makeup to look like. Um, she's playing this role. She's did this her temperament. And okay, this what this role she's playing. So please give her this. You know, props. Okay, this is how the storyline is. We need this kind of props. If we can't get that particular props in, in the market, we create it. So I'm an artist. I 
then the reason why mostly I I involve myself so much in most of the work I do. You can see me, I'm an art director, I don't just stand, fold my arms to work. Of but you, you see me on, on, on the ground. If I have to use my hand, mold clay, use things, I do it. Because I, I'm, I'm a creative person. I'm not that artist who stands and, and instructs people to work. So when it comes to costume, yes, I tell them, okay, in this story, this is how the costume should look, look like. So if you do like um, um, Obiato, Kwame Yuji. You can see the kind of costumes exactly. we used. We're trying to depict certain uh, settings, you know, and like the slavery kind of setting. So you saw the costume, you saw the setup. We shot that scene in uh, uh, Botanical Gardens, Legon Botanical Gardens, you know, and I have to scout, go through and see which area could fit to the kind of look and feel I want. So our work entails a lot. between you yeah. and then the main director, director of the video great so the director uh, sees to the storyline okay he directs the storyline um, the director don't own the creatives I see yes my work my duty on set is to make sure I own the creatives I own the makeup artist I own the props designer and when I say this it should be that because I am the art director on the set then what, what would the director do so the director is to focus on the storyline and just deliver and deliver so, okay, this is the storyline. This is how the storyline goes. He tells the, the actor or the musician, you have to do this, do that. But then, what happens at the background? The kind of color the dress should wear shouldn't be the bedding of, of the, the director. director. So I that's see. it. So that the director can have a sound mind to um, focus on how the story uh, unfolds on the screen. But before we move on to one question I want to ask, which happens to be, the number of music videos you worked on. Yeah. Um, how, what is the synergy like between you and a director? Yeah. Um, okay, so a director who understands the fact that an art director is supposed to do A, B, C, D. Yeah. And then a director who doesn't no. accept the fact that yeah. it is your job for you to do, I do the job. Yes. Okay, so that's the difference. You see, um, every production that um, hires a services of um, an art director, you can see that the director's work on set goes smoothly because something like storyboards something like storyboard the art director produces storyboards okay and features in the storyboard um, shots image sizes angles types of camera whether dolly tracking shots whether mm -hmm. drone shots the art director produces all those things so when the director is working it's like he has this free mind of just you know following okay. what the scenes should go like and it helps the director as well. It doesn't make him, you know, get tired of what he's doing because the art director is seen to all the aesthetics or mm -hmm. the, the creatives or on the set. So if you see videos that doesn't have a feel of an art director, you can see it. You can see some videos that um, color-wise, it doesn't match story, 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 and maybe visuals mm -hmm. doesn't match. Then you can tell. I see. There are some videos you see somebody wake up early in the morning from, from sleep and the person is wearing nice fine lipstick. <laughs> How on earth uh, should this happen? Uh, do you sleep with lipstick and wake up with fine lipstick? Even if and you sleep with it when you, you wake up? Do you think they really know these things? I mean, the directors that don't really hire the service of the likes of you to do these things. So do you think they don't know these things? So that's why they... It's so easy world. Well, I'm a YouTube director. I just pick ideas from YouTube. YouTube and I'm then shooting YouTube. music videos. So yeah. You? Yes. And um, that's why I've been championing this course for almost, I could say, 12, 13 years mm -hmm. in this industry. I have worked as an art director production. I've never done anything aside that area. And I've been championing this course as to, um, you know, 
voicing out the, the importance of, of art directors and production designers um, in, in, on film sets and, and even music videos. You know, look at videos that I work on. Every video I work on wins an award in and out. Wow. Every video I work on as an art director, you can check my track records. Is there? Know. And I mean, even I mean, I mean, being here I alone, I'm seeing a lot of awards that you've received both internationally and locally. Okay, now tell me, how many music videos you, you've done? Where will I even remember? But just to touch on some few. And mostly, um, it's not every video I work on. People come with their scripts. People come with, we sit down, we share ideas. Director, let's go this way, let's go this way. Come. Sometimes, um, they pick up ideas from me, they go and they don't come back. Whoa. That's, that's, yes, that's, it that's happens. Sometimes, some of the people, I don't even want to mention names, we go on location scouting. And then I come up with storyboards as to how every scene should go. Like I draw it, we come home, you, you tell me, oh, um, could you please send me the storyboard you created for the scenes? Then I'll send it to him. Uh, maybe that the, the, um, the musician wants to see it. I send it to him and then later, before I realize they're on set shooting. And this, I'm happy we are doing, having this conversation today mm -hmm. so that um, this shouldn't happen, it shouldn't go on because um, these are some of the lapses uh, in, our, in our area of profession. Even though we have to do mock-ups before for the client to see, okay, exactly. um, you know what we have to. But um, it's it's our intellectual property. You can't just use somebody's creative uh, work and then then just use it and just shun him like that. And this is what has been happening. So I'm very happy we're having such a conversation. So we we create awareness. Okay. So let's 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 know some of the music videos you worked on. Okay. Um, I think I worked on Nyajilo um, Nyakwe. That's one of the video I love to date. Um, Yejilo won several awards locally and internationally. Uh, worked on uh, um, Ochame Kwame's videos, almost five of his videos, small, small together. Um, um, the one with Miss V, uh, oh, a lot of them. Um, I did some with um, you just Kwame Eugene. Yeah, uh, Kwame Eugene. I did like three videos for Kwame Eugene and Kidi. And even the latest one he did. Um, is it Bonka? Bonka. Yes, yeah, yeah. I worked on that one too. Timeless. I did Timeless with Fuse ODG. Um, I did. Um, hey, will I remember? <laughs> I mean, you've you've done a lot, but I, I want us to look into uh, what you have in front of you. I, I can see that is yeah. um, as a very wonderful piece. Great. Um, viewers, what I'm seeing over is very beautiful. This is um, a storyboard of a kind of a music video. I think I know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, what what music video? Yeah. Uh, storyboard is this or with, art is this? With this one is Kakai. Shatawale is Kakai. Wow. Yes. Um, I, I prepared this with Bulldog um, so many years ago. You remember when Kakai came? Yeah. Well, like 2000 and... Uh, something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we sat down, prepared this storyboard. I think I have more in the studio okay. that I can just give you All more right, okay. details. All right, okay. yeah. I think I think I think I'm enjoying this conversation, so yeah. we'd like to take you to the studio. Sure. So we can let viewers know exactly what goes into your work. Great. All yeah. right, viewers, <laughs> let's go to the studios of Prince Kojo Hilton. <laughs> Is it Photoshop <laughs> that you are there or is real? <laughs> this, this is real. That's Nairobi, Kenya. Um, wow. I was, I was working on um, the Sense 8 shoot in Kenya called. Uh, Amazing. I worked, I worked as a scenic artist on this set. Amazing. Creating the. Uh, you saw the, the bus. There was a, a bus. A colorful uh, bus. A colorful yes. bus in that, in that film. Actually, I designed the car, how it should look, the look and feel, every design on the bus. Uh, was my idea, my concept, and um, 
I, I got on this set, that was 2014. Um, there was a music, well, there was a, a commercial we did for Smell of Ice, and we had um, Kenyan directors, Kenyan crew, and some Hollywood crew came and came to shoot here in Ghana. And I was fortunate to work on set as a scenic artist. And uh, when we finished, they, they, they fell in love with how I worked. And um, the director told me that there's this shoot bigger um, project coming up in Nairobi, Kenya, and they would want to have me on board. I mean, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, trust me, this man is a legend. Mm. I'm privileged to be standing beside a legend, <laughs> a set legend. <laughs> well, we'll be going to his studio. I mean, we are still in the studio, but there's a place where he does all the magic. So th this is like a, my, my table where I do my drawings, uh, put together my illustrations for, mm -hmm. for either film or music videos. Because in music videos, I do more storyboards for music videos. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so this is where I brainstorm mostly. All these storyboards were done in this corner. Okay, so um, we were then talking about um, a storyboard you did for Shatawale's Kakai music video yeah. that didn't happen. Yes. If, I, if, if I'm right. Yes, yes. Why, why didn't it happen? Why? Why? Because this is a beautiful set piece. Yes. Why? why? Maybe, maybe the logistics as at that time, maybe preparation as at that time, and uh, um, the, the kind of elements or the scenery we have here uh, would demand a lot, uh, a lot of time. And I feel they want the the video to come out, you know, quick, 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 quick. So, mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. So I, I did a lot of scenes in the video from this first shot, second. Um, I have wow. this is also part of it, um, which I can explain scene by scene to you. And it falls in line. It falls with in a line. song. With a song. So, 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 so I want to ask this thing. Yeah. How? Do you get the call up? Okay, so I'm a director. Somebody has contacted me yeah. because I, I, I mean, I mean, I don't think um, the artists themselves come to you directly, yeah. Yeah. but they pass through a certain yeah. um, place. So let's say the director, yeah. and the director calls you that oh, I want something like this yeah. for a music video. So yeah. you walk me through how you're able to do so, that. So, so first of all, they, they send the script to me, or uh, the treatment as we call it yes. for um, music production. Videos, yeah, yes. Sure. So I, I read through, sometimes I have discussions with the director. Uh, what's, your, um, what's your vision for this story? Okay, we have a little discussion. And then as the artist or the art director, I also see it from the aesthetic or the artistic point, point of, of view. view. And then come up with illustrations that I share that with the director. So we all come on the same, um, same, yeah, same, same level. Platform, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, then uh, work proceeds. Okay. I see. But it takes me a longer time because I don't, um, it takes me time to even read scripts because I go through this, I call, um, uh, um, sh um, your shooting script kind shooting, of, your script yeah, breakdown sheet. Breakdown sheet. Sure. Okay. So with this, you can see a lot of columns here, cast, um, extras, um, extra atmosphere, wardrobe, makeup, special effect, visual effect, set design, props, even with the props, we have three types of props. You have the set prop hand prop, decorative prop. So I need to do all these things. Every scene will have this paper. Wow. Every scene. So if, wow. it's a, if it's a movie script that has like 120 scenes, then I have to get 120 of the sheets. But do music video directors go through these particular kind of it, routine? Some few of them that I worked with, mm. um, they had patience with me and I and we I explained this. Few ones like, like few. you can mention names. Oh, like few ones well, Gio. Like. Gio, yeah, yes. Yeah, I worked with Gio. Gio famous is a films. very, yeah, famous film. Gio is very creative. Um, he, he has this artistic sense of, you know, <laughs> his craft. And then I work with Nana uh, Esihini. Yeah, um, N-K-A-C-C. Yeah, Esihini. We did um, Van Damme, that um, song for, um, what's his name? Kujo. Papi Kojo. Yes, 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 yes. So... So um, he also understands and the use of storyboards and he, he helps in his work, makes his work very easy. So those are the 
directors that have worked Have you ever had any difficulty really? in um, creating such a thing for a, a video director where he does not understand this particular kind of uh, framework it, of doing stuff? Yes, yes. I've worked even on film sets. <laughs> you, you do a storyboard and that, uh, could you, uh, okay, I don't have time. Let's, let's shoot, let's shoot, let's shoot. You know, and you see, the reason why we will not get there as the way we don't have time, we don't prepare before going on set. Okay. See. Um, like I said, the three stages of production, the pre-production, the production itself, mm -hmm. and the post. post production. If the, the one is very important, the one is key. If you mess up with that one, the two is, is waste. And that is the pre-production. Wow. Getting to know your locations before going on set, getting to scout for your costumes, get your costumes on point, get your props, everything on point before going on set. And that's what is killing our Ghana film industry. Our producers, our, 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 our crew don't prepare before going on set. Wow. That's the only thing. But we have the men, we have the creative people. They can build, they can construct, they can design. So, yeah. so Wes, I'm still on uh, the challenges that you go through. Where you, so, you earlier mentioned that oh, sometimes you do these kind of storyboard and art directions and directors will even not contact you again because they get uh, the they framework and rather go and can use you, it will you, will you be will you would you mind if you mention some of these works you've done that it, it didn't come back again <laughs> okay i won't mention it but i'll show this on screen and if i show it i know viewers will understand okay i won't mention it okay but this is the first scene of that of that video all right this is the first scene the opening scene of that video okay these are the continuous scenes of the video of that same video okay somebody lying down getting wounded mm -hmm. all that an artist sitting at the back of the bus okay the artist sitting at the back of the bus performing okay a fire light up around the artist mm -hmm. i think you are getting the clue <laughs> I mean, I I, okay, think I, so, know, I know the video. So 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 I spoke to the director. We went on location um, to figure out the location that would suit the storyline. We came back home. I sat down, did the storyboard, and then what he asked was that Charlie send me the storyboard. The, the artist want to see the storyboard. I sent it to him, and then um, before I realized the onset filming. How did you feel when you I saw the video? I felt bad, my brother. I felt bad because I. I felt my intellectual property has been just taken away and just used, you know. But, you know, sometimes I feel what I have is, is more. I have more in my head. But you, that doesn't mean you should, um, uh, you know, just use, use me. That's the word, you know. We, we've, we've worked hard to get this far, you know. And if, um, yes, I'm expensive. I'm expensive because I... You know the, the amount of work that goes that into That goes picture. into it. I, I, I invested in getting to where I am today. So if I'm expensive, yes, I'm expensive. You can't afford me go. I see. Wow. 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 I, mean, I mean, I'm getting so much education even in your studio. Now, I want you to run me. If you get, let's get an idea into... Um, the makeup. The makeup of the things you do. Okay. Mostly, um, on... Makeup. I also do makeup. My kind of makeup is not to make somebody look beautiful. <laughs> no, I I learned doing transformational makeup, transforming a character or an artist to play a particular role. Okay, so if to to age you to to play like maybe a seventy five year old man. So this is what I do. Um, I take a photo of you. So okay. like this beautiful lady here. Um, I took a photo of her. And then I'll place a tracing paper okay. on the photo, printed photo. And then on the tracing paper, I come up with my sketches. You know, every artist knows, um, we do portraits. So we know the contour lines that forms um, aging on the face. Okay. So we just add, apply all those things. And the person changes. So the makeup, after doing the makeup on you, you look the same you old. But sometimes people do makeup and... You look different. Like maybe they are transforming you, aging you. You shouldn't look like a different human being. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Aha. You, you, sh you should look you, but older.
Sprint Skojo Hilton mm -hmm. and and these are my best top five videos um, first one I will say um, from Kwame Eugene Nobiato At number four, Ochame Kwame, bra. Number three, Ochame Kwame, small, small. Small, small. Number two, on God, Shatawale. And my favorite, by Adam, Nyejilo Nyekwe. This is the point. We we need to start focusing on the arts. If we really want this country to move forward, let's focus on the arts. Let's project the arts. Let's project yeah. artists and promote the arts, especially in Africa. All right, um, uh, viewers. I think we need to pay particular attention to these people, the people behind the scenes. That is basically the idea behind this show. That people will appreciate the people behind the scenes. The director, the lighting guy, the editor, the colorist the art director, the set designer. Because most of the times, when music video awards are being given, they forget about all those people at the back. Yeah. But today has been very insightful for you guys to know that these ones are very, very important. Viewers, my name is Ike. I am Ike. Yes, I am Ike. And just follow us on our various social media platforms. This is 321 Live, and we'll be back with you.